All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai. Call Hala Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I shalom to the few sincere Akwath out there listening and learning as well. And with that being said, I'm going to um, jump straight into this video. I don't want to rot the Zah. This will be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Raka Kwadash. Uh, for the record, today's date is um, March 29th, uh, 2021. The year of hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And um, shouldn't be too long of a video. Um, I got um, I got one video that I'm going to play, but the inspiration for this lesson pretty much comes from um, the elders live stream I was watching. You know, I, I finally got, you know, because I've been busy and stuff. So I, there's so many videos I can't keep up, you know, but eventually I, I'll get to all the videos, you know, all the different brothers, you know. But anyway, I was watching um, the elders and uh, they were going into a couple not well the whole lesson is edifying it's fire watch the whole thing but a couple key points they touched on and i said um let me do a little quick video on it you know you know so that's that that's what um this lesson is pretty much going to be uh inspired by the, the elders so go subscribe to the elders channel always doing edifying lessons as usual but um a, a key point that they brought out was the um i've never heard of it before like i said you're always learning that's why you got to be watching, watching the different brothers and studying for yourself. Look things up. You know, that's how things sink in. You know, don't just be a parrot. Know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, but anyway, the elders mentioned something, the Faustian bargain. Okay. I'm going to go into it. He, They went into it, you know, but um, I'm going to go further into it. But like I said, subscribe to the uh, elders channel. And like I said, go watch the video in its entirety, okay? But um, the real video that I want to years ago. go into is the uh, Salaki for the ad. I'm, I'm going to have to let that play. It's about um, Tragic Johnson, okay? And the vaccination, you know? They brought that up also, you know? And um, I got a couple scriptures. I don't want to rot this out. Lord's will it be edify edif edifying and, not, you know, close out. All right, so I'm going to play the video. Um... Salaki for the ad, man. I'm gonna turn the volume down and Lord's so we can get through it. We found a loan depot because we Hopefully I can skip it. The water. Alright. Salaki, bear with me. Alright, so you can see it says uh and I'm pretty sure you've you've already heard about this or have seen this. I saw it, but it completely slipped my mind. You know, but the elders brought it back up. So, you know, I said, let me do a little t um, lesson on it. And like I said, the Faustian bargain. OK, we're going to go into that, you know. Um, so anyway, off of news now from Fox uh, from four days ago, it says triple threat. L.A. celebs Magic Johnson, Danny Trio and Arsenio Hall get vaccinated. So they, like, again, who are they targeting? You tribes. Okay, I'm not going to really say too much, you know, because they'll strike it for medical misinformation and all that crap. So I'm going to just let the video play out and then uh, we'll get into the definition of uh, that word and uh, some scriptures and we'll close out. All right. So again, triple threat, L.A. celebs, tragic, I mean, um, Magic Johnson, Danny Trio, Arsenio Hall get vaccinated. You get the idea. Okay, you get the idea. All right. So anyway, let's get into the um, definition of this word, Faustian bargain. Okay, and then we'll get into some um, scriptures and close out. Faustian, Slakia, Faustian bargain, 
a pact, okay, what's a pact? A deal, a contract, right? That contract with death, the contract with dev the devil, Esau, Edom, okay? You know, it says falsely and bargain, a pact whereby a person trades something of supreme moral or spiritual importance, such as a person's values. Hey, what does the scripture say? Why trimmest thy, thy ways to seek love? Okay, and that's what Jake does, okay? They go whoring after these other gods, following behind these heathens, man, following their ways, their customs, you know? Faust in bargain, a pact whereby a person trades something of supreme moral or spiritual importance, such as a person's values or soul or the soul. They sell their soul for fame. You see? A gift destroyed the heart, man. You see? Faust in bargain, a pact whereby a person trades something of supreme moral or spiritual importance, such as a personal such as personal values or or the soul for some worldly or material benefit such as knowledge power or riches all right and like i said the elders brought that out that was the first time i've heard of that uh that that the faustian bargain okay you know so anyway let's gonna get into some scriptures and then um we'll close out i had a, a couple of them so let's see um because that, because I, I'm not gonna really say too much, but as you can see, they're pushing that agenda heavy, man. Okay, the devil is coming down with great, great wrath, knowing that he have but a short time. You know, he's come, he's all sides are starting to close in on you, man. You know, he's he's beating you over the head with this um, agenda over and over. Okay, and like we keep saying over and over, all roads are ultimately lead into the karagma, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, the hour of temptation is drawing nigh. Esau Edom deals with gradualism. Um, what what else? Uh, um, um, the Hegelian dialect. You know, order out of chaos. Pressure from above. Pressure from below. Problem, reaction, solution. That's what. That's how Esau Edom works, man. You know. You know. So hey, the doors of mercy are drastically closing. All right. So this is uh, straight out of your Howishai's mouth. You see the red letters on. It says Matthew seven and thirteen. Enter ye in at the straight gate. All right. It says, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. All right? That's the main point. All right? You got to enter into the straight gate. And you notice, straight is spelled S-T-R-A-I-T. Straight, in position of difficulty. A narrow body of water. Okay? This thing is a fight. A, 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 it's a thing of endurance, a marathon. Okay? It's not easy, but you got to keep enduring. All right? You know, you're going to be ostracized. You're going to be hated. You're going to be demonized. All right. How about you mean how shy was? All right. What did the Lord say, though? The servant is not greater than the master. All right. It's not. They don't hate us. Well, they do hate us, but they really hate you. How shy in this truth, this word. You see? So it says, enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. You see, and a uh, and them that triple threat is is a broad, leading you down that broad path to destruction. ISUPK they leading you down that broad path to destruction. I I U I C that broad path to destruction. You see, the elders starting with Elder Apostle the Horon down and all the men of Great Millstone. We're we're traveling down that straight gate, that difficult path. We're telling you it's gonna get rough out there, you know. You're going to have to put all your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're, we're preparing you for reality, man. Okay? We're not giving you, we're not selling you a pipe dream. We're not telling you smooth things. We're not just telling you what you want to hear. We're not pushing a prosperity doctrine. We're telling you you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to have works. You ain't seen nothing yet. You know? You know? Hey, the scriptures say, through much tribulation you shall enter into the kingdom, man. It ain't going to be a cakewalk. So now is the time to give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Now is the time to store up them, 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 uh, um, spiritual, um, your spiritual bank account, man. You know? That way, Lord's will, that hedge will be around you. That the wa, you know, exempt from judgment. That protection, man. That righteous force fields, if you may have it. You know, which, are, which is what? The angels that are going to be encamping around the men that fear the Lord. You know? Leading you, guiding us through the through that straight path, 
Because what we're going to be walking by faith, not by sight in them days, man. We're going to be looking through everything through the spirit, man. Not carnally, not trusting in the flesh. You see? It says, enter ye, in, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Okay, and what's life? This truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. These words, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? This thing of ours. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Because the slain of the Lord is going to be many, man. Okay? This is, um... Uh, let me see. Didn't I have another one? Okay, well, let's move on. Let's go. This is Luke, straight out of Yahweh's mouth also. The main point is in uh, 33. Luke 17 and 30. Let's get straight to the point. Luke, read the whole chapter. Luke 17 and 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. And that's the point, man. You can't be looking to save yourself. You know, when things get rough and, you know, your back is against the wall, don't cave, man. Don't cave and take that mark. Don't cave. Don't listen to the to the to the um the masses. Don't follow the masses, man. They gonna lead you off the cliff, man. Okay. Keep fighting that good fight, man. Okay. It's gonna pay off in the end. Keep fighting. All right. Keep pushing. You know we're gonna get the we're gonna get the last laugh. Cause your Habashim Yahweh Shai is gonna get the last last laugh. They are not mocked, man. You know. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. And like I always say, the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. All right? The elders um, reference this scripture also, you know? Um, Matthew 15 and 14, straight to the point, out of Yahweh Shai's mouth again. It says, let them alone. Hey, the broad lead it to destruction. Hey, we, 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 we warn you. Hey, hey, that's on you, man. Whether you hear or forbear, the blood is off of our hands. There's no cloak for your sins, man. You know? You know? Straight out of your Hawashai's mouth. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. And what's the ditch represent? Destruction. Perdition. You know? Especially if you take that mark, man. Okay? You're going to take part of the lake of fire. That's second death. Okay, intercontinental ballistic missiles, thermal nuclear destruction. All right. Again, this is out of Yahweh Shai's mouth. Luke, straight to the point, Luke 6 and 39. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? They shall, it says, shall they not both fall in into the ditch? You see? You see? So all of them people are blind. Gross darkness covers the people, man. You know? Majority of these people have no idea what's going on. They don't even know if they're coming or going, man. They're just on a damn hamster wheel, living for the weekend, living for vacation, you know? You know? <laughs> they don't know what's going on. They don't know if they're coming or going, man. And they're going to all fall into that ditch, which is destruction. Are you going to follow behind them? You know, you're going to follow behind that simple-ass woman, you know? This is Job 12 and 16. With him is strength. Who? With who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Okay? Because ultimately, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai controls everything. This is his movie. Okay? Um, and we're going to close out here. Salak, yeah. Let me see. I think that was it. And we're going to close out here. The same account, but um, I'll read them both. Straight to the point. Uh... Let's go straight to the point. First Kings chapter 22 and 21. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord Jehovah and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord Jehovah said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit. So you, and it's like it. And I, I, let me finish it out. And the Lord Jehovah said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Okay. So you got, you got, that's their lot, man. You got men set up to deceive because the Lord don't want you, man. The Lord want to be um, justified in destroying you, you know, you see, because it's the Lord's movie. You got, you got protagonists and antagonists, man, you know, and there's much more, uh, 
antagonist and protagonist. Because what? Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And you got people that may truly believe they're doing the right thing, but they're deceived. You know? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It is what it is. You know? It's the Lord's movie. He will have mercy upon whoever he will have mercy upon. You know? He will have compassion upon whoever he chooses, man. You know? Just, hey, just you, just do, worry about yourself. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, you know? Do your part. Do the best you can. And Lord's will, your household, you and your household will be saved, you know? You know? That's all you can hope for, you know? Just be obedient. And every, hey, seek the kingdom and everything else will be added unto you, you know? Again, 1 Kings 22 and 21. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord Yahweh and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lion spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. Yeah. Just take the jab. Take the jab. You know what I'm saying? You know, what else? The name ain't important. You know? What, what else they be oh, Whatever lies they teaching, man. You know? And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So Yahweh gave the okay. The angel on the left-hand side said, Hey, I'm going to go... Hey, deceive this man, you know? And Yahweh said, I'm with it. Go do it. You see? It says, Now therefore, behold, the Lord Yahweh hath put a lion spirit in the mouth of all these of all these thy prophets, and the Lord Yahweh hath spoken evil concerning thee. So, hey, again, what did it say? Matthew 15 and 14. Let them alone. The Lord did that. Yahweh Shai did that. They be blind leaders of the blind. Why? Because he want to be justified in destroying them. And if the blind lead the blind, they both shall fall into ditch. You see? You see? Because what? Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. You don't want to obey? You don't want to listen? Hey, that's your ass, man. Everything is out there for you. You want, you, you, you want to hear smooth things? Hey, the Lord going to give you smooth things. You want you want to get you want to be a sodomite you want to be a, a, an adulterer you want you know the Lord will give you over to those vile affections, He will give you over to a reprobate mind. It's simple, you know. But guess what? You're gonna be you're gonna every you're gonna be you're gonna be held accountable for the things done in your body, man. You're gonna be judged, you know. You're gonna have to give account, you know. And what did he say? The deceived and the deceiver are his. He gave that angel the okay to put that lion spirit on the prophet, you know, so that he can deceive you and, and the rest of the congregation, you see? And then he put them idols up also, these tragic Johnsons, these uh, Arsenio Halls, these Danny Trios, which these are nothing but fucking uh, <laughs> be, be list, these, these Who the hell is this? Come on, man. Danny Trio? Machete? Ah, come on, bro. You reaching, man. Arsenio Hall, I guess that's why they try to revamp coming to America. You see? Trying to, hey man, this devil is through. There's no enchantment against Jacob. The elect, we see through this, this garbage. This malarkey. You know? Anyway, with that being said, I don't want to rot this. I, I don't want to rot this out. This was edifying. Like I always say, keep pushing, keep pushing. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep fighting, man. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal.